Hey guys, I'm Adi. Welcome back to the series. In the previous videos, we finished the index page of our theme. Now it's time to do some work on the single post page. So let's begin with some markup. I'm going to open Coda and duplicate the index HTML. Rename it to post HTML. Okay. So right now, Let's uh, start taking out a couple of things from this markup. Okay, first of all, we don't have a bunch of articles. So let's get rid of this. Okay. Get rid of the separators and also get rid of the nav, the navigation for the articles since we don't need it. Okay, so let's have a look in Photoshop. This is the adaptive post PSD. And we can see the top structure is exactly the same as the original index page. Uh, but we do have a large uh, featured image for the post. So let's go ahead and um, show that. So article preview image, I'm going to change its class and I'm going to say article image. That's a simple image. Okay. For, for width, let's see, this is 813 pixels. And I'm going to do the same. So 813 by, what is this, 252. I'll keep it at 210, actually. All right. And let's see what else do we have. We have the main text. Get rid of this tag. And also we have a couple of different styles. So let's do H1 plus H2 plus H3. Okay, expand that. All right, we have some headings. And we also need a couple of images and a block quote. Let's do the block quote first. I'm going to do a simple HR just to separate things a little bit. And I'm going to do a short paragraph. Okay. Let me just hide this for now. And then we'll say block quote plus site. Okay, let's do a simple block quote. With some basic text, and also an author. Okay. What else? Okay, let's do another separator. And now it's time to add uh, a lot, lots, lots of images. So for that, uh, first of all, when you're working with images in WordPress, uh, WordPress applies several classes to those images, like align center, align left, or align right, and so on and so forth. Uh, so uh, since we're building this for WordPress, we must consider all of those classes. So we'll begin with this. I will do an H2 plus an image. Um, actually, let's do H2. Let's say image classes. Okay, and I'm going to do an image with a class of align center plus image with a class of align left plus image with a class of. Mm, Actually, let's do them uh, separately. Okay, I'm going to 
copy this. I'm going to do 210 by 210 and class align center. And I'm going to say this is a center aligned image, no caption. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and copy this. And let's do an image that's aligned to the left. Okay, then let's do an image that's aligned to the right. And finally, we'll do an image that's aligned nowhere that's uh, it's just a basic image okay simple image no caption okay now besides these classes uh, I mean these classes can be applied to images but also they can be applied to divs um, specifically when working with captions on images so let's do separator let's do an h2 i'm going to say image with captions this is just dummy text really uh, i'm just writing the titles so we know what's going on in the page uh, so let's see we'll do a div or the class of WP caption and align center. It's going to have an image plus a paragraph with a class of WP caption text. Okay, image source. Um, let's do 210 by 210 again. Let's say dumb image. And we'll say this is a caption with a link perfect okay also we must duplicate this for the other classes like we have a left aligned image with a caption, right aligned, and no alignment. Okay, now let's also add a couple of paragraphs. Oops. Great. All right, uh, what else? We did the block quote, we did the image. Let's do a separator. And we did the block quote. Okay, let's do a video container. Now, uh, we'll use something called Fit Vids. It's a solution for implementing responsive videos. Um, so for that, I'm gonna do an H2 again. This is a video container and a short paragraph and div class video container. Let's go ahead and grab an embed code. I just did that real quick to put in our video container. All right, we're almost there. Last thing we need to do is uh, add some buttons. Uh, we didn't do any button styles so far, but that's about to change. So. Let's do an H2. I'm gonna say some buttons. Okay, and we'll do an anchor tag with a class of button, blue. 
class anchor tag with the class of button gray. And let's wrap these two in a paragraph. blue default button gray default button we'll do two styles for these buttons and also duplicate this and I'm going to change the class to small button so in total we'll have four buttons uh, two normal ones two small ones and both of them have two different colors, blue and gray. Okay, and let's have a look at the finished result. So we have our image, which is a bit too big here. Let's uh, inspect it, see what we got. Okay, so the total width of the image should be 784 pixels. That's uh, the space we have left after applying some margins. So let's go back, 784, where is it, where is it? All the way up here, and there it is, 784. All right, perfect. Okay, we have the image and here we start the actual content of um, of our blog post okay some separators this is a block quote we have a couple of classes here for the images captions of course links okay we have the container and we have the default button great uh i have an s right here it shouldn't be here okay so the content is done let's uh tackle these tags right here so we'll do a div with a class of tag container The structure is pretty straightforward. I'm going to say paragraph tags, and then we have a bunch of links. So this is tag one, and of course, tag two. Okay, and below the tag is the post navigation. So let's quickly do that div uh, with a class of post navigation. Okay. And we have a paragraph with two links, or rather, one piece of text and one link. Page one, page two, great. And finally, we have the author uh, section right here. So I'm gonna do div class article author. straightforward here two paragraphs article by or actually actually let's do an H hmm. quick change here Let's make this into 
the h5 we'll do helvetica new bold 14 pixels okay so now on the actual article area we can do an h5 article by author name and also a paragraph with the article biography all right something like that let's have a look mm -hmm. okay uh, that's it for this video guys uh, in the next one we'll take care of the comments area uh, this one right here and also we'll write the markup for the comment form okay uh, thanks for watching so far I'll see you in the next video bye bye